Have Coffee with Michelle is sponsored by Cincinnati Museum Center. to come have coffee full of flavor. I'm sitting down with Hamilton County Commissioner Alicia Reese. And the great thing about this is we're leaving politics out of it and focusing on her passion project, the Black Music Walk of Fame on Mary Way downtown. It's a whole vibe, educational and flat out fun. Coffee on the go is how it goes with this busy woman. Alicia Reese is one of three Hamilton County commissioners and known for getting things done. And she can add the Black Music Walk of Fame to that list. With all this behind you and then the words of the song. Tell me about this wonderful place. I mean, this is, uh, it's just amazing. It's, uh, I, you know, I always go back to God. I said, only God could pull something like this off. But this is a place that's open and free. Uh, it has interactive, it's uh, state of the art, nothing else like it. It's a stroll through music history tied to Cincinnati and Southwest Ohio, a pile of gravel just two years ago. They brought all the people in the room and they said, what is it that you want? And I said, bring me Disney World. Uh, on a budget. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, that's the key word, on a budget. Alicia, I want to talk a little bit about how personal this is for you. Yeah. Because I see your, your mom's yeah. picture over there and her music. Tell me about that. Yeah, I mean, music is at my core. Her mother, Barbara, was a singer and her father, Steve, worked for Motown. I was always around the studio with Bootsy and, you know, the OJs. They were just walking around, yeah. you know? Yeah. And I thought, Everyone had that experience. Right. With all that she's accomplished in politics, there's something about the music and these stories that hits home with Alicia. My passion is to tell the untold stories for the next generation, but in different ways, not where they have to read a book. It, this makes you want to use your QR code, look it up, and then go to the library because you want more information. We give you a, just a glimpse, but if you want to know more about them, from the names of the stars on the actual walk, Yo, Kathy Wade, to the interactive right kiosk to and music Trump that Star. speaks to this you and draws you into the experience. It's family friendly, a mix of education and entertainment. Dr. Charles Fold, first to get a Grammy from Cincinnati. It's the augmented reality though that had me in awe. You could become part of a performance and boy, did we. Excuse the bad dancing. Then we're going to show up. There you go. Hey, there it is. Hey. You can even download your performance, you save there it, and blast it on social media. Woo. There you go. Yeah. When you're having this much fun, you want to share it. <laughs> it's the power of the one. What Alicia has achieved with this attraction, she hopes will inspire others. The legendary And I want the little girls to say, nobody can tell you can't do this. You can't dream of something and build something and be uh, a developer, a creator. And thanks so much to Hamilton County Commissioner Alicia Reese for showing me around the Black Music Walk of Fame and for showing her fun side. The Walk of Fame is free and open all year round, so you want to check it out when you can. And we're going from music to the movies. Coming up next time on Come Have Coffee, did you know that Cincinnati is a hot place to make movies? I'm sitting down with Kristen Schlotman of the Cincinnati Film Commission. She's spilling the tea on what's new and what's next. That's coming up next time on Come Have Coffee. You may know their names, but how well do you really know Cincinnati's most prominent people? Come Have Coffee gives you a glimpse, a chance to get to know them a lot better. Find WCPO9 everywhere you stream and search Come Have Coffee.